All right, here's the new Explore Scientific 80 80 millimeter FCD 100 F6 refractor telescope. So this replaced my um, Skywatcher ED80 doublet, and I sold that one on Cloudy Nights. This is a triplet refractor, and it's all mounted up on the AVX mount. I did have to, um, I've already had this long dovetail right here. I think it's like a 11 inch dovetail, Orion dovetail. So what I did was, since the AVX little mount shoe right here is not as wide, and everything wouldn't fit perfectly as far as for balance, I had to get this wide dovetail right here. I can't remember the name of it. And but I got this one on here and I have the 11 inch mounted to this one and then the rings mount here and I had to take the little shoe foot or whatever they had a little small one here the mounting shoe that they had the bracket and I put um, some regular rings on here that I already had the rings were a little bit bigger so I put some felt in between here and it took up the space and made everything snug tight and everything so it fits pretty good didn't have to buy any new rings but that fit on there just nice my finder scope my red eye finder this is just on here with the um, Moonlight autofocus. The Moonlight that I have is the larger format one. It has two um, mounts for finder scope, so guide scope. So one right here is just my, actually, my 50 millimeter guide scope right here. And the other one I just put on here and it's rigged up so this red eye finder just clicks on here just, just right. I had to rig it up just with them. Um, I'm always making stuff. So what I did was I took like some popsicle sticks and some plastic and glued it to the base of this Red dot finder and then just screws in here, mounts in, tights in. Kind of hard to explain, but if you see it, it's very matter of fact, I can just take it off. You see how I did it. All right, see how this is? It's just some hot glue with some um, plastic wedge defense of the mount and popsicle sticks just takes up the gap. That's so that when it's inside of here, it has something to squeeze against. So you just slip it in the whole thing to the mount right here and tighten it down. Once you get everything, you know. Zero it in just fine. I need to re-zero it now since I just added this on here. First I had the finder double-sided tape up here, but I don't like that, so let me just put it back here in the back. So that's that's one here now. Other than everything else fit perfectly. I didn't have to buy any um spacers or anything like that for the back end. The only thing I had to do was get Ron with um Moonlight to make a custom flange right here so the Moonlight focuser will adapt to the actual scope right here. So the actual um was a Crayford focuser. I forgot what it, the scope comes with. It's just in the box right now. I never used it because I knew I wanted to put autofocus on there anyway. And I knew it was going to be a decent scope from what everybody was saying about it. So I just went here and got the custom flange made. So this screws right there perfect. And what I did for the front end, since the dew shield is retractable, since my tube rings go all up to the front of the dew shield, you know, all up where the dew shield is extended, and the dew heater strip is here, since I know I'm not going to retract this, I couldn't reach in to get my um, lens cover off here. So what I did was I just took a basic piece of PVC pipe and I marked it black, you know, with Sharpie so it doesn't look all white. Put some hot glue around here and then I can just lift it up just like this. So it's like a little holder, well, like a little um, extension tube or whatever. So you just easily put it inside of here, just, just like that. It makes it real easy. And I don't have to worry about pushing the douche shield back or anything. Just put it on here, take it off. And you can see right here it is a triplet. See this camera light, let's see, yeah. It's a new FCD, it's upside down right here. FCD 100 glass. Uh, so far I did, uh, my first light was with M101, the um, Pinwheel Galaxy, Galaxy. Came out pretty decent, but I know I need to still work on my post processing, but I did notice everything was a lot sharper, like with the stars and everything, and some of the colors of the stars, they weren't bloated as much. So maybe that's dealing with the triplet glass. I'm not sure, uh, time will tell when I, take more images. I haven't done any narrow band yet. This was only with broadband and the moon was very bright that night. So it wasn't the best night, but I just couldn't wait to do it. But just another view behind my cables all here. And plus if um, my previous video, I have on um, cable management, how I have everything set up on this mount. That has not changed. Only thing that changes is the scope. And I still run my ADSC on this um, AVX mount. I just take this dovetail off and that, disconnect this, plug that to the ADSC and Mount it back on his mount. So this AVX, I've had it for almost close to two years now. And knock on wood, this mount is still serving me very well. I'm gonna keep continuing using it. Uh, it's a pretty good mount. I mean, it's a workhorse. It's always worked for me. I get pretty good guiding. I can do uh, three minute, four minute, five minute exposures. 
and it does pretty well. Of course, if I guide uh, to the south or low, it's a little bit higher numbers on PHD2, but it still guides. So I, I can't complain, it's been serving me well. But that's basically, I just want to show how the uh, Explore Scientific 8080 triplet FCD100 scope looks all set up. And so far I'm happy with it. It's a much smaller scope in size compared to uh, my Skywatcher ED80 millimeter because that scope was a lot longer and it's lighter, a little bit lighter too. So let's wait on the mount. But that's basically it, how it looks on here. Now I just need some more clear nights. It's supposed to be cloudy tonight so I can't use it again. So I've only had basically two clear nights to use this thing and that's it. So now I'm just waiting, waiting for some clear nights.